everybody. Merry Christmas. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm a crafter and I make dolls. But lately, one of the things I've been doing a lot of is teaching how to use your brother's sewing machine. Um, I work in a sewing machine store and during this whole COVID thing, we haven't been able to do classes. So I've been trying to teach some of my students and anybody else out there who's interested how to use your brother sewing and embroidery machine. And I promised that I would do some more classes on the sewing part of it. But today, one week before Christmas, I thought it would be fun just to do a quick little video about um, uh, different kinds of techniques that you can do with your embroidery machine. Did you know that you don't have to embroider on fabric? You can embroider on a lot of different things. And one of the things that I found is fun to embroider on is puffy foam. This is the same kind of foam that you buy in your craft store in all different colors. You can embroider right on that and it comes out really nice. Another thing that's really popular right now is this cork fabric and it also comes in a whole lot of different colors. It works great on purses, make, gives a very professional look when you're all finished with it but you can also use it with your crafts and because it's not really a fabric when you cut it out it doesn't fray on the edges and you can glue it onto things that um, and that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to glue it on something. Then you've probably been in some of the craft stores and seen some of these vinyls that are for the cutters and you can cut things out and iron them on to fabric um, by themselves but you can also embroider around them so that's kind of a neat thing that you can do. Um, it's just there's so many different things that you can embroider through. You can even embroider through um, you can even embroider through balsam. And that's one of the things I did. This, I did this absolutely years ago, and it's looking a little bit frayed. But um, I put the denim down, then I laid the balsa wood down on top of that, and I did my embroidery, and then I cut it and glued it onto this box and frayed it a little bit um, to get just like a different kind of effect. So I thought that was really fun. Um, I think I did this probably 10 years ago. So that was really a, a kind of a fun project to do. So, um, and this is what I've done just recently for Christmas. And this uh, Millennium, did I say that right? Millennium Falcon, I got from the iBroidery site that Brother has. You can download Brother Designs. Brother not only has Disney, but they have Marvel comic books, they have Star Wars, they have Muppets. There's a whole lot of fun things on the iBroidery site. So go to it and check it out and see what you can get. Um, for your embroidery machine, you can download it. These uh, little plaques I bought at the discount store. I'm, I'm sorry, I bought it at my craft store and I think I paid $1.99 a piece for them. So they were really inexpensive and they're gonna make a fun gift for the men in my family. And you, some of you know that sometimes figure out a gift for the man in your family. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try and move the camera a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to put this in the hoop and embroider over it. Okay, so first this is my five by seven hoop. So you don't have to have a big fancy sewing machine to be able to do this. You can do it in any hoop that you've got. Um, then this is, um, a peel and stick stabilizer. This one happens to be the one that washes away, but there's also a tear away one. And if you, peel this away, it, this part is disposable and this is very, very sticky. So it'll hold your towels in place. If you want to embroider on a towel and not have to put it in the hoop, it'll hold small items in place. Like for instance, a bib that you're trying to embroider on or um, even a, something even smaller than that, like a bracelet. You can hold, put this in the hoop and then stick it to um, the sticky paper. So. I have it in the hoop already. There's no fabric in here. It's just the stabilizer with the shiny side up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to score across the top like this. Then I should be able to lift this top one without cutting through both of them like this. Oh, 
Okay, so now this is very, very sticky. And as I mentioned before, if you were trying to do a towel that was really thick and you couldn't get it in the hoop. And another thing, if you're trying to hoop a very thick velour towel, if even if you loosen your hoop enough and get it tight enough in there, What's going to happen is the hoop is actually going to make a hoop burn on your towel that won't go away. So I would really recommend not trying to get some things in the hoop. Um, a velveteen Christmas stocking perhaps would, it would leave a mark that you wouldn't be able to get rid of. So this stuff is really great. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, I don't know what all the names of them are, but this one happens to be um, from Floriani and it's called Perfect Stick. Um, but there's, of course, lots of other ones out there that do the same thing. So then what I'm going to do is then I'm just going to take my um, cork fabric and I'm going to lay it on top and I'm going to just push down. And that is going to hold that in place so that I can go ahead and embroider over the top of it. It works absolutely fabulous. Another thing it works really good on is if you're trying to do t-shirts that are really stretchy and you don't want to stretch that t-shirt while you're embroidering on it, you can stick the t-shirt down on top of that. And I'll show that to you um, in the near future so that you'll know how to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to embroider a picture on this that I got from my embroidery and I'll be right back. So as you can see, magically, <laughs> um, there's something else in the hoop. This is another 5x7. This is actually the puffy foam I was showing you earlier, but I bought a little bit of a sparkly one and um, I embroidered the Millennium Falcon on this one. Um, I've done a couple of different ones of these. Uh, I thought this one came out pretty good. And this is the one I showed you earlier. I did use my scan and cut to cut this shape before I glued it onto my plaque. And I didn't line it up as well as I would have liked it to. I don't think that um, the person that's getting this for Christmas is going to notice it. But be very careful when you use your scan and cut that you line it up so that you don't accidentally cut part of it off. Um, I still think it came out pretty good. And then what I was talking about before, um, this is a bag and you've seen some of my videos where I've done bags before um, and I this one I actually used um, the cork and I also used the glitter vinyl on it and then I just embroidered through some regular fabric but I, I think it came out really cute and it makes a nice little bag and then I went ahead and put some button eyes on it instead of the eyes that the embroidery design asked for so I like the way that one came out that was a lot of fun and then this is also the cork that I did. This is a design that I got from iBroidery. I couldn't even tell you how many years ago. I went on looking for it the other day. It's not there anymore. But you could find a design like this online pretty easily of a skull and crossbones. It said uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales on it. And I changed it to Stow Your Bro stow your booty um, and then I put some little hooks on it so that you could hang your keys on it and I had some of um, these little whoops piece of thread um, some of these little metal coins lying around in my craft stuff so I went ahead and glued those on there too I hope my son really likes this for Christmas because he likes pirates so um, you can see that there's a whole lot of different things you can do have a little bit of fun um, don't be afraid to try and embroider through some different thicknesses and see what you're gonna get I hope you guys have a really happy Christmas and when we come back after the um, new year I'll do some more brother classes on sewing heirloom stretch knits um, and if you have an idea of something you'd like to learn to do that's on your embroidery machine um, put it in the comments and we'll see what we can do remember to like and subscribe and Merry Christmas